Namaste, yogis. Welcome to your Monday mini practice. I'm Carter, and today we're going to be addressing the lower back. But before you get started, find yourself um, a blanket or a pillow or a block or maybe a really fat book. So we're going to use this in practice. Once you get them, I'll meet you on your mat. All right, yogis, um, find your way to your um, back and grab um, one of those things I told you, either your blanket that's rolled up, your pillow, a big fat book, or a block. So any of these things will work for you. And I just want you to take them and, and set them aside. We'll get to them in a moment. But I want you to bring yourself to your lower back. Bring the soles of your feet together. And then slowly lower to the floor. Your adjustments here is your heels can be closer towards you or farther away. And I would suggest that you play a little bit with the feet to find the sensation that feels um, a little bit of opening through the lower back. Once you get there, allow your knees to be heavy and soft. And you can take the hands to the upper thighs and you can press them a little bit towards the front of the mat. Now, if you're like me, my lower back is always tight, no matter where I'm at. So any of these um, asanas that we move through today is very mindful, very gentle, very slow until you feel the sensation that's enough. Once you get there, you can just um, wag the tail a little bit as you find the edges of the sensation. Now, if you're really tight in the groins and this is just way too much of a, an, an asana for you, you're always welcome to take your pillows, your blankets, your bolsters, and whatever you need, you can slide them underneath the thigh or the knee to support the knees. So keep in mind that you have these supports all the time around you to help you find that position that's just right. Uh, give your back a chance to soften. You're gonna have a, um, a normal curvature in the back and you're just gonna let that uh, soften towards the ground. While you're there, the arms can find any position that's comfortable. So again, on the thighs, they can open up like wings. It's nice to open up through the fronts of the shoulders and the chest. Or you can extend the arms up over your head. Feels good through the outsides of the shoulders and maybe into the upper back. Another breath or two, this little practice today is um, just to give us a little bit of heat and an awareness to the lower back. None of this stuff, our yoga practice is not designed to fix anything, although it does fix stuff. It's designed to bring awareness to where we are. Then we can move in a direction of healing and awareness. So one more deep, full breath. Focus on the exhalation as you soften and surrender. I've said this a lot before. Tight lower backs and sensations in the lower back, that is, a little intense, has a lot to do with the hips, but we're not doing hips today. We're just addressing the lower back. So just keep that in mind that hamstrings, groins, IT bands, hips, all relate to a tight back. But today we're just doing the lower back. All right, start to walk your feet forward. Knees start to straighten. Extend your arms up over your head if they're not already and stretch from your fingers all the way down to your toes. Draw that right knee towards the belly chest. Wrap your arms around that leg and squeeze it in. And you're going to explore. You're going to move the knee to the right and left. You, start to, you may start to feel this through groin hip flexor as well as lower back and hip. So a lot of times you'll feel the sensitive hip areas when we address the lower back. So once you're there and you have a good sense of where you're at, take your left hand, take it on the outside of the right knee. You're gonna lift it up a little and then you're gonna drop it to the left. So you're kind of pulling in the opposite direction of where your um, hip is twisting. I don't know if that's the opposite direction. So let's say we're, we're moving it in the same direction. Extend your right arm like a wing, and then you're just going to soften the right shoulder and allow that right shoulder blade to drop towards the floor. This right side, shoulder, arm, uh, chest, 
we want to think about that just dropping towards the floor. That's going to give us the twist through the spine. The left hand has the weight on the knee. It can always pull down and to the left if you feel like you need more through the lower back and spine. And again, you may feel this hamstring, hip, groin, um, hip flexor. Also, you may feel lower back, mid spine, which we're, we're trying to soften. So the, the belly softens, the chin drops towards the right shoulder, and we're just breathing. So this practice ha doesn't have a lot of movement, but it may have a lot of sensation. And another breath or two. And um, after this 10 minute practice, if you found an asana that you're like, wow, that feels really good, go back and do it again. Never hurts to do this three, four times just so the body knows to let go and surrender. Another breath. And then we're gonna slowly lift that right knee back up. Use the arms to help it on up. Squeeze that right thigh towards the chest again. And then we're gonna bend the left knee and bring the left foot to the floor. We're gonna take the right hand or the right arm, we're gonna bring inside the right leg and grab the bottom of the right foot. You may have to lift the head and shoulders off the ground to get there. We're moving into half happy baby. We're just gonna lift this foot up until you feel it in the hip. It may come over the ankle or it may come over the knee. And if so, that's great. You can stay there. Lower the head and shoulders down. And we're going to play a little bit here. We're going to take that right foot. We're going to draw it out to the right and then see if you can bring that right knee a little bit closer towards the floor on the outside of the right ribs. So in this half happy baby, you can play a little bit by bending and straightening the right knee, moving that foot right and left, getting a sense of the lower back. If you're a little bit more open in the groin and the hip, you can straighten that left knee. And that'll show up in that left hip flexor, maybe a little bit more in that lower back. And then again, you can play a little bit by moving that leg, the left leg to the right and left, as well as the right leg to the right and left. And a moment here. Awesome. Exhale, let it go. Extend both of your legs. Extend your arms up over your head. Stretch from your fingers all the way down to your toes. Let's do the same thing other side. So draw that left knee or thigh towards the belly chest. You can grab the shin or you can grab the hamstring, whatever's working. Try to steer clear of any sensation that's uncomfortable in the knee. So if you're pulling and you feel it in the knee anywhere, adjust to the hamstring. Move it to the right, move it to the left, find the different variations of the sensation. And when you are ready, the right hand grabs the left knee. And I'm gonna see if I can say it right this time. <laughs> we're gonna lift the knee up and we're gonna invite it to the right. So I'm pulling a little bit and I'm moving slow and I'm just gonna stop when I feel like it's enough. You can play a little bit with that left thigh by lifting it up and down and then extend that left arm. And again, you're trying to think about that left shoulder and arm to be the anchor. And again, it may not touch the ground and that's okay. And this is a little bit opener through the front of the shoulder and chest. But where we're softening through is that lower back and that left hip. Chin can drop towards the left shoulder. Again, soften belly. Focus on exhalation and relax the jaw. When we're trying to open through the, the body, we're trying to um, soften the parts of the body that aren't working. So a lot of times when we get into a pose that's a little intense, we grit the teeth, we um, wrinkle the forehead, we maybe even clinch the fist. So we're gonna soften those parts of the body that aren't working at all. Fingers, toes, breath, thoughts. In, in um, to invite the parts of the body that are working to relax and soften. And this takes time. So this is why we stay here for a moment or two. One more big inhale, slow exhale. Take your right hand, start to help that left leg up. Draw the knee towards the belly, chest, squeeze it in, and then bend your right knee, bring your right foot to the floor. Let's come into that half happy baby. So left arm inside the left leg. You may have to lift the head and shoulder up. 
grab the foot, and if you can't grab the foot, you can grab the shin, and bring that ankle up over the knee. Lower the head and shoulder down if it's off the ground, and start to play. So left knee towards the, the ground on the outside, left ribs. Foot moves in and out, knee bends and straightens. And again, if you're feeling like you're a little bit more open, the right knee can straighten as the right leg left, rests on the ground. A moment here to play a little bit with the movement. Hmm. And you're probably wondering, when am I using that black bolster or pillow? We're doing it now. <laughs> so extend and lengthen that left leg. Extend your arms up over your head and stretch from your fingers all the way down to your toes. Draw both knees towards the belly, wrap the arms around the legs, a little rock from side to side. So what we're going to use that block or, or book or whatever you have for is supported bridge. So the feet come down. You're going to grab, I'm going to use the book just so you know you can use this book. You're going to lay it flat, you're going to lift the hips up, and you're going to slide whatever support you have underneath the hips so you're not above the waistband. So you're supporting the lower sacrum, not the lower back, all right? So it's somewhere around the waistband and below. And then once you're here, you can windshield wiper the knees side to side. You could bring the soles of the feet together. There's a lot of options here and the knees fan out. You can do the opposite where you can bring the knees in and open up the feet. And for a little bit more intensity, you can straighten the knees and lengthen through the spine as you reach your arms up over your head. You can get your hips higher if you would like. So if you have a, an extra pillow, you can slide that under. The higher up your hips, the more intense the sensation on the lower back. So give yourself a moment to soften here. This is one of these poses. This not one of these poses, this pose I do every morning. Sometimes a little bit higher than the others, sometimes a little bit lower. A moment to soften. I usually can only stay here for a minute or two and then my lower back says enough is enough. Big inhale, slow exhale. Again, stay here as long as you would like. When you come on out, the knees bend, the feet find the floor. You lift the hips up just enough to remove that bolster block book. Lower the hips down and resist the desire to squeeze the thighs towards the belly. Winch a wiper the legs side to side to make sure the lower back is a little bit more malleable. And once that feels good, draw the knees towards the belly, give yourself a squeeze. And then when you're ready, you're gonna rock front to back and you're gonna come up to your seat. Nice and comfortable, lengthen through the spine, hands come to heart center. Take a nice big inhale through your nose and exhale out your mouth. <sighs> Namaste. Nice work, yogis. I hope your lower back feels pretty good. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comments section below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to do a little bit more practice, you can click here for 20 minutes. You can click here for 30 minutes. And make sure you click over here on my picture to subscribe to my channel. Take care of yourself. I love you guys. Peace.